Seniors are being told that they can still contribute to society. The Canaan Bonacord Community Center is reopened and the skills training graduates are earning praise for their excellence. Info Update. Bringing you the latest news, views and, and reviews. reviews. Along with responses, comments and events affecting you. Brought to you by the Information Division of the Tobago House of Assembly. We start out with the news of Tobago's elderly residents. And although most of them are retirees, they're being told they still have a lot to offer. Here are the details. Christmas is a time for caring and sharing among family and friends. And the Tobago's senior citizens were not left out. The office of the chief secretary hosted its annual luncheon at the Shaw Park Complex last week. The chief secretary of London says seniors should be confident that they have contributed to Tobago's development. He adds that they can still make a contribution. So that is the kind of mindset that I want all of you to have. That this is a time when Tobago needs people like you, maybe more than ever. Because all of us are aware that we in Tobago and in Trinidad and Tobago are going to face some very trying times. Mr. London says when he leaves office in the coming weeks, this will be one of the events he'll miss the most. But I will carry with me very, very pleasant memories of an occasion like this, or occasions like this. But more importantly, very, very proud memories of you, the people of Tobago, the senior citizens of Tobago, who have contributed. The Chief Secretary says he hopes events like these will inspire the seniors to continue contributing to the island's development. I'm Omodara Mills for Info Update. We switch now to community development and the recommissioning ceremony for the latest community facility to be reopened. Here's more. The southwest tip of Tobago will soon be buzzing with activity again. That's because the Canaan Bonacord Community Centre has been reopened after undergoing renovations in recent months. President of the Canaan Bonacord Community Council, Wade David, says it's a proud moment for the area's residents. This very centre was originally constructed in the 1960s and was managed by past presidents such as Ms. Claudia Devines and Mr. Adams, Mr. Vernon Phillips. And we stand on the shoulders of these giants here today. Mr. Ansel Dennis, Assistant Secretary of the Division of Community Development and Culture, says residents must now ensure the investment in the facility benefits the entire community. You have the right ingredients for development within this community. And therefore, we have absolutely no excuse if you fail to maximize on the opportunities made available in this community. The center is the latest in a number of community facilities that have been upgraded and reopened in recent weeks. I'm Josan Brassi for Info Update. We stay with the communities and the skills training that will benefit hundreds of Tobagonians. Here's Caroline Wallace with more. More than 400 people from over 30 communities graduated from the Vocational Skills Training Program last month. This year, the program began in April with a range of classes, including food preparation, floral art, and leather craft. Assistant Secretary of Community Development and Culture, Ansel Dennis, is commending the participants for their excellence. He's also reminding them that they must use their new skills to contribute to Tobago's development. Mr. Dennis says he's happy to see so many Tobagonians benefit from skills training. Mr. Dennis says because the graduates have achieved, it's also a great achievement for Tobago. I'm Caroline Wallace for Info Update. That's it from all of us at the Department of Information. I'm Davia Chambers, and you've been listening to Info Update.